Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I am going to be talking about um, something that I think needs some defending. And um, if you're wondering, this looks kind of similar to the last video setup that I had. It is because it is similar. Um, I am literally filming this right after the Sencut Scepter video, and I just felt like doing a little bit of a conversation video. You guys seem to like that and I really enjoy doing it. So right now what I'm drinking is San Pellegrino Limonata or lemonade and, um, and I am having it with some Tito's vodka. So that is what I'm sipping on this very evening. Now, the video that I wanna make right now is going to be defending the Victorinox Leaf Spring. The Victorinox Leaf Spring is definitely something that people do not like about Victorinox and their multi-tools. And I actually find the Leaf Spring to be a better option than a stabilized spring within a handle. Now, what you might be asking yourself is what is a Leaf Spring? Well, the knife I have here in front of you is the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker, and that right here is a leaf spring from Victorinox. Why do people hate it, first off? Well, it's flimsy, it's small, it can come out of the track very easily. You see, I just took it out of the track. But I think it is very effective. And people do not like this spring because it's small, it's flimsy, it's hard to replace, which it's not. It's not hard to replace. Um, you just have to know what you're doing um, to do it. And how do you replace it? Well, this here is a pressurized loop or a pressurized um, tension. I, I don't know what to call it, a uh, pressure. It's under pressure and being held within this circular fitting. Here. And you can see that that there, I'm gonna try and get this really close, is not a complete piece. It actually has a little bit of a gap right here. You know what? I'm going to use the toothpick. So right about here is where that gap is in the spring. And you collapse this part and press fit it in to replace this leaf spring. And it is very easy to do. It takes a little bit of... Um, uh, know-how and um, ingenuity, but it can be done. And I think it's very great that you can replace it instead of having to get a whole new unit. Now, the other thing that I love and people do not talk about on Victorinox knives is the fact that it has a guided um, port for it to go into on the handle. And I'm going to have to work this out. Um, this is a guided port system for the spring here and it collapses into there and because you do that uh, you have that system there it's not going to get lost or bounce out very easily and you can actually tighten this spring up um, you can pull it further away or tighten it down to weaken the tension and I think that is really nice because then you can get a custom feel for your tool. You can make it very weak. Um, let's say you have arthritis in your hands and, and you don't have the, the grip that you used to, you can make it very weak and you, you can use it that way. Or if you need it to be further out like this on the get-go, you can adjust that. And I think that's really nice. The same can be said for Victorinox scissors. They have the same construction. It has that um, that that track there for the spring to land in and it keeps it in place. I think this is a very, very smart way of doing um, a spring system and it allows you to have a custom fit for any of your tools while at the same time allowing you to replace this spring if it ever gets compromised. Now, the thing that I wish Victorinox would do and I think they would make money on 
is if they made these into like a full size set of scissors, like just a full size that's spring, uh, spring loaded and you can just, you know, do this or whatever. If they could make these sisters, uh, not sisters, scissors, um, full sized, that'd be really cool. I think I'd buy a set. But I just wanted to talk about the leaf spring in these Victorinox knives because people don't really talk about them. Um, they, they don't really discuss how great the scissors or pliers are on Victorinox knives and what the, the actual ingenuity is within these tools. I mean, this here had a redesign back in the 90s and for a very long time, it's been the same thing and it's the same construction um, from the very beginning. I mean, Victorinox has been doing this kind of uh, setup in their scissors for many, many years, I believe since the 1920s. So it, it's a system that works. And whenever you get a used Victorinox knife and the spring is missing, you can always get spares, which is fantastic. So that is my video defending the leaf spring in a Victorinox knife. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember till the next video, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.